Thanks for staying with us on The Spinner. We're discussing the outcome of the Egyptian presidential elections with social and political activist Mouad Khatib and former ambassador to Egypt and senior researcher of Middle East, uh, uh, of the Middle East at Jerusalem Center for Public Affairs, Ambassador Tzvi Mazel. I want to go first back again to Cairo to uh, Jacob uh, Wirtschafter. Jacob, thanks for sticking around with us. Um, so Sisi is having trouble uh, battling uh, ISIS in the Sinai, as you mentioned. There's a very tough economic turndown. Is the low turnout uh, the Egyptian way of showing their dissatisfaction? And should Sisi now actually be worried and, and keep looking over his shoulder? Well, first of all, they're claiming victory in the battle against ISIS, at least the military is here in Cairo. And on the economic data, look, unemployment is down and foreign investment is up because they did a big IMF program on me. So I, I, I think that's a key thing you need to know. Mm -hmm. The currency devaluation has led to growth here in terms of foreign investment and job growth. Now, who is missing from this election? Young people. And who made the Takriar Square uprising? Young people. That's where CC needs to be looking because about 30 some percent of the Egyptian population is under the age of 25. Mm -hmm. So clearly, he's got to pivot now and make sure that he's meeting the education and social service needs of Egypt's young people, or, or there are problems with this administration. The young people didn't come to vote. <sighs> yes, I saw, I, saw, I saw it. Listen, Sisi did not pretend to introduce democracy in Egypt. He mm -hmm. said the most important thing is economy. So. He did what he had to do and with great success. And if you go to the economic experts, Bloomberg, as IMF, and World Bank, you will find the right answer. Right. And now, about the loan from the IMF, he took a loan of $12 billion for three years, yeah, accepting the conditions of, of the IMF to float the, uh, the lira, the Egyptian lira, to introduce the, the VAT, uh, value added mm -hmm. tax to cancel most of the subsidies, mm -hmm. yes, and m many other things. He, this was a very difficult and painful surgery to Egypt. This is the okay. only thing to do, okay? okay? And he did it. And he did it. Okay, Moad, you know, compared to uh, Mubarak, who was removed uh, from power after nearly 30 years in the Tahrir Square Revolution in 2011, is Sisi a uh, stronger or a weaker leader compared to him? Well, for me, uh, uh, listen, as a human rights activist, it doesn't really matter whether mm. he is stronger or weaker. What matters is human rights, is uh, uh, stability, is security. Uh, now, Sisi is, um, uh, is only giving people, the people of Egypt, censorship, insecurity, poverty. I mean, people now can't even afford to buy bread. Mm -hmm. And this is what the aspects that we must look at, not, not the economy. What is the economy worth if you are continuing to kill people? I, 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 ca I, can't, just, I can't understand that a diplomat is defending Sisi, claiming that he gave people good economy, and he is not, mm -hmm. honestly. And let's not forget the loans he took from the Arab countries at the expense of democracy, at the, at, at the cost of suppressing there people, no killing them. in the Arab yeah. world. You know Please it very well. Please let, let, let me finish. <laughs> now there are more than 60,000 political prisoners, according to Human Rights Watch, in the, Israel, in the Egyptian prisons. New prisons were opened. Now Egypt is being transformed into a, a large jail, not a country. You can't deny, you can't, jail, you can't deny not... but you can't deny the human rights issue. Yes. You, human right comes after economy because why? It, yes, I tell why? you why very very easily. How can that be? How? I, I'll, I'll tell you how. <laughs> uh, Sisi said many many times and repeated it, and especially in the memorandum he wrote after he finished his studies in the United States as a as an uh, Egyptian yeah. officer. He, he wrote and he said democracy probably is the most important way to govern a country. Yes, yeah, yeah. but you cannot impose democracy on Arab countries like that, on Muslim countries. You need, first of all, education and economy, and this is what he's doing. So, I mean... So, it, meanwhile, it's okay to jail people? So, yeah. Just a moment, Rega. How long does he need? I don't know. You don't know. Why Morsi wasn't given even one year? Yeah. Why? The, he, what he did was supposed to to be done because there is no no way that this this Why economy this economy, this economy will succeed otherwise. Why wasn't Morsi given that opportunity? Listen, even in Israel in the 50, in the 60, we did the same thing. Okay, mm. we we and we 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 gave we, we gave we gave we gave food to to. Uh, it was a military rule. What? It was a military. Okay, so military. Rule. Rule. Wanna, <laughs> so you are with so. military against rights. <laughs> Listen, you would like to, people to have human rights and die? They are not having any. They have been dying in Egypt. Okay. Most, of the, people, most of the people in Egypt, in Egypt are very, very... So are you very saying, Tzvi, do, do you think that Assisi has any, any pro-democracy -demo reforms in mind? 
Uh, yes, democracy will come later. Democracy, democracy will come, come later. later. I don't know when. I don't know when, but the only way to save Egypt yeah. is to deal with the economy. And this, uh, he has been doing it very, right. very well. Uh, what, what do you make? Go, you want to respond well, to that? I'd like, uh, to, I'd like to make a, a quick note about the very low turnout. Despite the bribes, disrupt, dis, despite the threats to, uh, against the Egyptian people that if you don't go to vote, then you are going to jail. And yeah, that happened. So is, uh, Many people no, actually point, voted uh, forcibly. But uh, and this is a pr so, so, for, for, for CC, the, you don't understand. Listen, with the, the referendum. The, the, the CC, for CC, the election was a procedure to be followed. That's all. Not democracy. It was to, to regain power again and to okay. finish his job. Let me what finish is, job. What, what, is the finish what is the point of having power if you can save the people? But actually, you are using that power to kill people. Mm -hmm. And the, when, when the vote on the constitution was healed, uh, uh, if you saw posters mm -hmm. promoting the, the you yeah. know, people to vote, it said uh, vote yes to, uh, to constitution, no to terror. As if, if you vote no against the referendum, then you are supporting Mouad, He's expected to rule uh, for just one more term, but one more term. But do you think uh, CC is actually going to make any constitutional amendments to stay longer on? Oh, definitely. That that, that, definitely? Is, that is happening already. I mean, uh, such an election that we are just we like are Putin witnessing. did. Uh, even worse, even worse. At least you know Putin was. Uh, for, well, he's to supposed some to extent, was, was he's supposed to stay until 2022. If correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, do you think he'll stay, he'll stay longer, CC? I, I, yeah. Do you think Listen, he's going to make any amendments the West, to the Constitution? To the West is happy about it. Is, the West is happy about it? Of course. There, were, there are rumors about it. Uh, maybe yes, maybe no, I don't know. It depends upon... Do you think that's a good thing? No, it's not a good thing to, to, to remain in power so many years, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> Egypt is not an economy. Syria is uh, a uh, democracy. Syria is not a democracy. Iraq is not a democracy. No Arab country is a democracy. The first thing to do is economy, and he's been doing it. They, the tried, to be democracy. Two, yeah, they tried to be a democracy when Morsi was elected by democracy, but that didn't last, did it? Morsi was not elected by democracy. How, Listen, how, how, how I, come? I tell, you, I, tell you, I tell you the story. We have a minute left. I, I tell you the story. The Muslim brothers who are going around the villages and telling to the people, if you don't vote Morsi, you will go to hell. And they voted most. Is that right? Yes, that right? Yes. You know very well. How, how did Shafiq? I know. I know. Did, actually, uh, facts testify against this. These are false, false lies. Sorry. No. Uh, Morsi oh, no, won. No, 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 Morsi, no. Morsi won uh, uh, for, uh, 52 percent of the votes against uh, Ahmed Shafiq, who won 49 percent. Yes. So that is democracy. Okay. And may I ask you, are you okay. against okay. democracy for Guys, that's all the time we have. All the time uh, we no. have. No. But guys, the guys no, all the time we've got. Are not ready for thanks democracy. to our guest, oh, Ambassador Zvi Mazo and Mouad Khatib. Stay with us when we come back. We'll wrap up the show with Chief Diplomatic Correspondent Nina Larson in Washington, D.C. Thank you very much.